America is in the middle of an energy boom. The U.S. has become the so-called Saudi Arabia of natural gas. Production has soared 26 percent in the last five years. That is pushing the price of natural gas down. It now costs less than half of what it did five years ago. Now, in 2011, natural gas, 99 percent of it, went to residential, commercial, and industrial use or was used to create electricity. Less than 1% is used as vehicle fuel, but U.S. trucking firms are looking to push that number higher. Why? Well, why does anyone do anything? Cost. While we've seen strides in battery technology for transportation, 18-wheelers can't be run on electric power just yet. Diesel is costly. Prices have dropped. Well, they did drop $2 a gallon, uh, down to $2 a gallon back in 2009, but they've doubled since then. A gallon of diesel costs between a buck fifty and $2 more than the equivalent in natural gas. That means the increased cost of a natural gas-powered truck can be paid off in a couple of years. CNN's Tori Dunnan has the story. Diesel is king here at the Flying J truck stop near Richmond, Virginia. With it, Nathaniel Keating has pushed his rig... 3.5 million miles. You name it, I, I called it. But truckers here don't have to look far to see the future. Alone in a corner sits a new liquefied natural gas island. LNG, as it's called, is cheaper, cleaner, and supporters say more plentiful than diesel. But there's a problem. Say you want to drive a truck like this coast to coast using only liquid natural gas. Here's what you'd be up against. These are the only open and public LNG fueling stops across the country, and there are actually only 30 of them. A tank of LNG would take you about 700 miles, so going westward from Washington, D.C., unless you go completely out of your way, you'd run out of gas just outside Nashville. It's what the industry calls the chicken and egg dilemma. What comes first, new trucks or new pumps? The American Trucking Association's recently held a sold-out summit about just that. It's going to happen. I promise you it's going to happen. Texas oil man turned natural gas crusader, T. Boone Pickens, says Henry Ford faced the same problem. If somebody said at that point, Henry, have you thought about it? There, you don't have any filling stations. He said, oh gosh, I never thought about that. Well, I'll forget this idea. That's not what he said. he said. Don't worry about it. You'll get filling stations. If, if the car shows up, the filling stations will come. By spring, the number of LNG stops will skyrocket to about 150. But when they'll open is uncertain. You'd think environmentalists would be thrilled at the prospect of replacing dirty diesel with clean natural gas. Not quite. We think a rush to liquefied natural gas is a mistake. While natural gas may burn cleaner, problems arise when the gas leaks. The leakage of that gas itself is such a potent greenhouse gas, 70 times more potent than carbon dioxide, that undermines the greenhouse gas advantage. Bottom line, the industry says LNG is cheaper than diesel fuel. But I think it will work in the end. It's just a matter of time. A matter of time. Tori Dunnan, CNN, Washington. Don't be looking for liquefied natural gas powered cars anytime soon. Automakers are starting to develop cars that run on compressed natural gas, CNG, but with just 536 public CNG filling stations across the country, the U.S. is still years away from powering its cars using natural gas.